On your mark. One, two, three, four. It is a good day to have a great day. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gaines here at Jeffco Stadium for the Pomona Invitational. This is the closest thing we'll get to the state track championship all season long. And it started with a battle of two former swag chain winners. Devin Lauer Duarte of Platte Valley and Dante Capalongo of Dakota Ridge both won the chain in football season. Don't give up on your dreams. What are you learning in class today? Um, and some, some trig. Some it's, trig. It's not well, going well, but it's going. <laughs> now the two shared the track. That's awesome. And Devin showcased his elite speed and remarkable style too, winning the 100 meter dash in 10.57 seconds. That's the best thing about it. You get a race. Not only your division, the best in your division, but you get to you get to compete against some of the other best athletes in the state. So you cannot win another swag chain. Did you know that was true? No, I did not know that was true. But, but it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I was hoping maybe, maybe get a track one, but it's okay. Peyton Holmes of Valor won the girls' 100 meter dash and shared some hugs with her fam, while Cherry Creek's P.J. Robinson battled through injury to win the 110 meter hurdles. A year ago today, I was getting treatment done, and you know, not. Not on, even on the track, not running this season. So it just feels great to really be out here and you know get the work done. The four by two champs, the speedsters on the girls' end, Mountain Vista, and the Rock Canyon Jags on the boys' side of things. Hey, this is pretty sweet too. Pomona's own Daniel Cardenas. You know, the four-time state wrestling champ, he's running this season. We love multi-sport athletes on the rally. Hey, the biggest name on the Colorado track is Cherry Creek's Riley Stewart. She set a new meet record in the 1600 in four minutes and 44 seconds, and nobody was even close to the senior star. It's always good to like get those awesome meet records, but it's also good to be out here and just running again in Colorado. It's just amazing. It's the gold uh, little eyeshadow for a reason today. <laughs> yes, obviously the gold is going to make you run faster, so it's a new thing, yes. Hey, how about some bunny hops on this Easter Sunday? Check out Scotty Vines, the Debeck sophomore. Scotty launched six feet and ten inches in the air. That's the very best leap in the state of Colorado and the fifth best in the country. Now the internet tells me that Easter Bunny is somewhere between three and six feet tall. Let's say three since it's more fun. That means Scotty can jump over three Easter Bunnies. And the very coolest way to score in any sport, win the lacrosse faceoff and take it yourself. Here's Chatfield's Michael Gaffney. Win it, Mike, scoops it up. There goes that sophomore. This one was sent in to us. And now the whole state gets to see how cool Michael is. You can share your local stars too. Our email, sports at 9news.com. You can be as cool as Mike. Now Golden, the Demons, and Dan Grease. Here's Ava Ganter inside of the Speedy. Tatum Miller, who buries it. Here's East Riley Tills. Tell them, Riley, but Golden, they'd earn this dub. Anna Nuffer, one on one. She gets it done. Demons, they win by three. The Green Mountain lacrosse team has been on a mystical journey all season long. And it all started at the dollar store. Once upon a nine. <laughs> It's a little weird, yeah, but I love it. At a school near your home and mine lived a magic gnome. I said, I need you to go find a trophy. Goes to the dollar store, comes back with gold spray paint and a gnome. <laughs> spray paints it and I'm like, let's roll with it. This is gonna be hysterical. A no-name gnome awarded to each game's MVP. Have you ever in your life won a gnome before? <laughs> no, it's my first time winning a gnome. Does it have any sort of personality or anything? Personally, I don't think I've gotten to know the gnome quite <laughs> well enough. Everybody wants to get the gnome at the end of the game. They want to be recognized by their teammates. So, I mean, I play a little bit harder each game. And the Rams have been on a magical journey all season long. It's such a fun and loving team. I think we're all like really close knit. The Rams have scored 146 goals in just eight games. The very best in Colorado. We're just all out here to have fun, really. With the Golden Gnome right there for every single one. Now, I love the Gnome, but I think he's missing just one thing. 
And it's a cool tradition to start it like our senior year and it's a legacy to leave on. Whether it's a legacy or just a gnome, they'll be sure to leave it on the field. The Golden Gnome might just be the perfect Easter decoration of 2022. Hey, I'm Scotty Gange. Happy Easter. We'll see you next week right here on the 9 News Prep Rally.